Okay guys, so this is the haul that we got at the flea market. I'm going to show you three quick pieces that we got. Sterling silver. Got this little butterfly ring. Has a little bit of yellowing, not too tarnished. And uh, have this other ring with the birthstone amethyst. My wife's birthstone and my son got himself a little ring with like some sketching in it and stuff. And all three of them have a little bit different degrees of yellowing. So we're going to head to Walmart now and buy the solution to clean them. And we're going to show you what they look like before and what they look like after. So see you guys soon. Hey guys, so these are a couple pieces that we found that from the trip to the flea market today. And uh, I, I stated what they were earlier, but I'm just going to say it one more time. Um, this is the butterfly necklace my wife chose out. It's 9 to 5 silver. Um, has a little bit of tarnishing inside and stuff. No big deal. See, so I also got this thing, 9 to 5 silver. This one, as you can see, has some graying in it and stuff. Um, I might have to bump up the lighting a little bit. Just so you guys can see a little better. Sorry about that. It's in the dark here a little bit. So, there we go. I'll show you guys again. Um, yeah, so this piece was a little bit gray. Doesn't scare us. We still bought it. And my son grabbed this piece for his little pinky finger. And, uh... We're going to try to restore these things and see the difference. And what we bought was, uh, first of all, I just want to say a lot of people give silver a bad rep. They say, oh, if you go on the beach with it and stuff, it's just going to ruin. It's not worth the money. Like silver lasts decades if you know how to take care of it properly and clean it. So that's why we don't have any fear in buying these pieces when they're tarnished a little bit. So we're going to clean them right up. I'm going to show you the cleaning right now. This is the product we got right here. It's uh, tarnish and it uh, cleans silver. It also cleans gold very well. Copper and other things. And uh, it cleans diamonds. You don't have to be scared to put diamonds in there and stuff. So we're just going to pour some of the Tarnix. Fresh bottles you can see. We're going to put some of the Tarnix inside the glass here. Open it up here, yeah. There we go. And you don't you don't really need to put too much of this, just enough to submerge the pieces. So that's what I did there. I just gonna put a little bit more because the butterfly ring stands out a little bit. So, so I'm sure you can throw it in there, leave them in a little bit. I'm gonna fish them out with my my glove. Put the first one in there. The, the butterfly one. I'm gonna grab the other one in there. And she goes also. And the little pinky ring that my son picked up. Just gonna leave them in there, squish it around. I would say like 30 seconds or so. Uh, has a funny smell to it. Ugh, it's, 
It smells like something's like rotten. <laughs> to be honest. So I'm just gonna put my glove on as they sit there a little bit. So like I said, I gotta touch them and I don't suggest anybody use this stuff without gloves or something to grab them. Some type of tongs or needles to grab them. But my glove will do good for now. So like I said, let them swish in there. Hang around in there for a little bit. And I just want to look and see they're fully submerged. Yes, they are, so. Oh, the smell is horrible, guys. I'll tell you this much. Um, just going to leave maybe an additional 10 seconds. Because that one was a... Uh, we took the first one out. That's the one my son grabbed. Uh, put my fingers on it a little bit. So, yeah. We'll throw it back in. Guys, so I got these things off with a glove. So first thing I'm going to suggest, just to give you guys, if you do use this product, please use it outside. I made the mistake of using it inside and it smells horrible. Um, don't put your hands on the product. Make sure you have a glove, possibly like a, some tongs to move the rings back and forth. So I'm done putting them in the product. Um, Put them in clear water right now so they can rinse out and get the stuff off of them. And uh, I'll show you the first one. Which is my, my wife's topaz ring. And uh, as you can see, it cleaned up quite a bit. And um, I've yet to polish it yet. I don't have my polishing rag on me here, which I probably should have. Then this is her other ring which hasn't polished yet, but as you can see, they all, all the color came back on all of them. So I am going to polish them again. I'll probably dip, dip this one in there again afterwards just to try to get more of the, the lettering cleared up. But they look pretty good for just the first go around. So guys, like I said, don't be afraid to buy silver, whether it's new. As long as you keep it in good condition, it's going to last. And even if you see used silver that's a little tarnished for a cheap price, I would pick it up because these pieces will last you a lifetime. Very low money, and the, the pieces look nice, and you can shower with them and all that stuff. You don't have to be worried about it. And it's a precious metal. It'll always hold some type of value for you. So with that being said, guys, we're going to leave this here. And um, later on, We'll show you a video after they get polished and stuff, but I don't want to make this video too, too long. So we'll, we'll show the finished product at, on some other video. All right, guys. Thank you.